Hey guys, it's Kick Up Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Christmassy tutorial for you guys. It's just a fall cut crease with a candy cane eyeliner. Oh my god, sorry if you can hear people in the background. My mom has a bunch of friends over. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> I'm going into editor from my Day Slayer palette by Morphe Brushes and I'm going to apply that with this blending brush from the Wish app and I'm going to blend that right into my crease. Now I'm taking Define which is this light brown shade and I'm going to apply that with this flat blending brush. I'm going to focus that directly in my crease as well but below that first shade. With no additional product on my first blending brush, I'm switching back to that to help me blend out those colors a little bit better. And then switching back to my flat blending brush and picking up more of that brown shade to make it more of a smooth transition. Now I'm taking Mauve, which is this darker brown shade, and I'm going to apply that with this sparse tapered brush. I'm just doing the same thing and focusing that color below that second shade of brown. Once again, I'm switching back to my first blending brush and blending those three colors together. To cut the crease, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC35 and I'm going to apply that with this small flat brush. Since I do have a hooded lid, I'm going to keep my eyes open while I lightly outline where I want my new crease to be and this is going to be above my double lid and I'm making sure that matches the other eye. Once I got the shape, I'm going to fill that in and then blend out the edge with my finger. To set my concealer, I'm going into Spark and I'm going to apply that with this flat brush. I'm slowly tapping on that product so the concealer doesn't move. I'm taking mauve again but this time I'm picking it up with this little detailed brush and I'm going to define that crease a little more. To blend that out, I'm using my sparse tapered brush again. Next I'm picking up in the crease with my first blending brush and I'm just going to add that a little bit to the top where my brow bones are. I'm going into mauve once more with my detailed brush and then blending that out with my sparse tapered brush. Taking Spark again with this flat brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bones. For the wing, I'm using this white liquid liner by NYX and I'm starting from the edge of my eye, angling it towards the edge of my eyebrow, extending it in the front of my eye and then creating a really thin line on my lash line and then connecting that line to my wing. To create the candy cane, I'm using NYX's red lip of the day. For each red line, I'm using the same angle as my wing. For the bottom eyes, it's really simple. I'm grabbing editor again with my first blending brush and I'm dusting that under my eye. Next, I'm picking up sweet with my sparse tapered brush and I'm applying that to my bottom lash line as well as under my wing. To make that brown a little bit darker, I'm taking my little detailed brush and spraying it with some setting spray and then dipping into that color again and applying it to my lash line. To highlight my inner corner, I'm going into my Sweets palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and going into Butterscotch and Marshmallow with my sparse tapered brush. I'm also going to highlight my nose and the other high points of my face. Now I'm retouching the inner corner with my white liquid liner and then adding some mascara by Maybelline. 
And the lashes that I'm wearing are in the style So Glamorous by Morphe Brushes, and this is what it looks like. I'm adding some more mascara to my falsies, and that should complete the look. watching i hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already stay caked stay fierce and i'll see you in the next one bye